because positive emotion is associated with movement forward like if you're where you want to be and things are going well then your behavior should be activated so that you go and get things now one of the negative consequences of that is that if you're really in a good mood really happy you're going to be impulsive and make mistakes you know because you hear these dough headed that's a very minor word people who are always pushing happiness as the as the key measure for for successful existence it's so ill-informed that it's embarrassing that that even happens positive emotion makes people impulsive maniacs for example which is really if you that's mania right bipolar disorder if you're manic you're one happy person way too happy everything is great nothing but wonderful things that are beyond your imagination are going to happen to you and they're going to happen fast and so you're down to the mall to buy everything you can possibly get your hands on because you have a hundred uses for everything and then a week later you know you crash into your depressive episode and you realize that you're $150,000 in debt and you've alienated everyone that you know it's like that's untrammeled positive emotion so how about no you, the a peer index of positive emotion is no way of determining whether or not a system is working properly even your own system you need a balance between positive and negative emotions plus positive emotions are absolutely exhausting because if you're in a manic episode it's like it's time to get everything good right now fine but you won't sleep for a week and then you die because you just burned yourself to a crisp and so to be overwhelmingly enthusiastic about everything sounds like a real blast and I've seen full-blown manics and they're having plenty of fun but it is not a pleasant thing to behold they're just all over the place and you know yeah it's really not good it's really not good you need a balance between these two systems because the whole world isn't explored territory bursting with nothing but promise that's not the world the world is that in a bounded space a little bit with an absolute horror show going out ar around the periphery and both of your both systems need to be active in order to keep you balanced people do unfortunately sustain damage sometimes to the left prefrontal cortex responsible for positive emotion or the right prefrontal cortex responsible for negative emotion and if you sustain right hemisphere prefrontal damage it makes you inappropriately happy and impulsive and your and your life just goes you just spiral downhill because you make nothing but impulsive decisions and you know what the real world consequence of that is you know get drunk and be impulsive for one night you can learn what the bloody consequences of that are you try living like that for a month independently of IQ that's the other thing that's so interesting you can blow out your left prefrontal cortex and not suffer much of a decrease especially in crystallized intelligence but the fact that you're running on nothing but sorry your right hemisphere you're running on nothing but positive emotion is going to auger you right into the ground and then if you're perhaps even more unlucky and you lose the left prefrontal cortex then you're permanently depressed because there's nothing but the unexplored manifesting itself we know that if you take depressive depressed people and you do EEG analysis that they have predominant lefting, predominant resting right hemisphere EEG activation and so so that's roughly so why is this well unknown territory known territory you think well is that real well it's real enough so that's how your brain evolved that seems pretty damn real